A very blessed evening to you, my fellow pomegranates and gooseberries. My name is Stephen Ilshev, and out here I like to proceed to read you an essayistic observation that I happen to pen in the year of our tantalising Gorilla Cross uh, Tractor 2005. Now this essayistic observation is entitled The Despicable Axe Murder in Heightened Merseyside and uh, it is dedicated to the wonderful family of the slain teenager Anthony Walker. As if Ken Bigley, Michael Shields and the 20th anniversary of the Heisel tragedy were not sufficiently distressing for the effervescent, quite Celtic in his character, European Capital of Culture 2008, the city of Liverpool had to be befallen by a brutal, racially motivated ass murder in Heighton. A half-decent heart of hearts breaks for the family of slain teenager Anthony Walker, who has become the victim of a slim minority of ostracised scallywags in the pool, who firmly believe that they should take it upon themselves to rescue the so-called whiteness of the population on this island. These low-life excuses for humanity have desecrated a fellow human being's life who did them no harm. They just couldn't get over how a person of colour that is the antithesis to white could walk hand in hand with a gorgeous white dame in Heighton. Therefore, the imbeciles had to rectify the situation and slaughtered one of their own. Now, the Walker family, who are devout Christians, have expressed forgiveness to these profane monsters who tried to strip their 18-year-old son of all his dignity in a totally barbaric way. Is that how we show patriotism in the wake of 7-7 and 21-7, I hereby ask? Is that how we contribute towards making England... And to learn a brighter spot for us all. No, me fellow outcast whites, this is sadly how we continue to justify the hatred for our very existence that is so widespread throughout the so-called third world. This is when any person with a grain of morality can stand up and denounce this white behaviour. It is uncivilised and we whites have got to emphasise that point. No ifs, no buts. It is cardinally sick. And the perpetrators of this crime are sickness personified, and don't kid yourself. Their conduct is no more excusable than that of the terrorists who use jihad as their argument for grilling humans like kebabs all over the capital. The height and ass murder has left the right in a daze. The heart of the message radiating from the ferry across the Mersey lyricism has been uncompromisingly butchered by political slavery manifesting itself in disastrous emotions that have cut very sure the life of the budding gent. It is not a moment for calm at all. It is a moment for assertion. We have to ostracise bigots and extremists of all ilks. Fuck off. I just can't believe that. Fuck off. Cunt. Ah, I hate fucking making mistakes, you know, cunt. Why don't you just go and suck me fucking uh, chihuahua? Fuck off. <laughs> 